In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, welcome to this morning offering and morning prayer, a time where we spend with Jesus, talking with Him, sharing with Him all our joys, sorrows, difficulties. Most importantly, thanking Him for all that He has done for us and for all that He will continue to do for us in our lives. And as we begin this morning offering, let us thank the Lord for all that He has done for us throughout our lives. Let us begin from the time of our birth. We thank the God for the gift of our life. We thank Him for all the talents, for all the abilities that He has given us. Lord, we also thank You for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, all those who have played a very important role in our lives. We thank you for guiding them. We thank you for the time and energy that they have spent in shaping us and making us who we are. We thank you for their presence in our lives and we ask you, Lord, that you may give them all the graces that they may require in life. We also thank the Lord for all the experiences that we have had. There have been various joyful experiences that all of us cherish, all of us want to remember. At the same time, there may have also been those experiences that may not have been that good. But nonetheless, these experiences have helped us. They have made us better individuals. It has made us stronger and it has enabled us to learn from our mistakes. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for giving us these experiences, for helping us learn from our mistakes. At the same time, we also need to thank the Lord for every small thing that has happened in our lives. Sometimes we are so caught up with the things of the world, we are so caught up with our lives that we do not pay attention to the small minute details that happen in our lives. But we see that these small things contribute and play their part in making us who we are. So we thank the Lord for all those things and we ask Him pardon for all the times wherein we have gone astray from Him, for all the times wherein we have not noticed His presence in our lives, for the times that we have not been able to recognize Him in those around us. We ask pardon from the Lord. And today, my dear friends, we shall reflect on Psalm 48. As always, we shall have a glance at the psalm and then go through it in detail. Now, Psalm 48, we see, is a hymn of praise to God, celebrating His beauty and security of Jerusalem, which is the city of God. And here we see that the psalmist will call us to exalt God's sovereignty and power. And at the same time, it also extols the splendor of Jerusalem as the dwelling place of God. In general, we can say that Psalm 48 is indeed a psalm of celebration, a psalm that celebrates the beauty of God, a psalm that celebrates the security of Jerusalem, as well as one that recognizes God's power and sovereignty. And through the psalm, the psalmist will encourage us to trust in God's protection and to give him thanks and praise for his faithfulness. Now the psalm begins with a call to praise God, acknowledging the greatness and might of the Lord. And therefore verse 1 speaks about how God is great. God great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain. And here we see that the psalmist then goes to describe the beauty of Jerusalem, which is situated on a hill and surrounded by walls. The psalm goes as follows. 
Beautiful in elevation is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king. Within its citadels, God has shown himself a sure defense. And here we see that the city is seen as a symbol of God's protection and security for his people. Now in verses 3 to 8, the psalmist will speak of the nations that surround Jerusalem, acknowledging their power and might. But at the same time, it also recognizes that they are no match for God's power and sovereignty. The psalm continues, Then the kings assembled, they came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic, they took to flight. Trembling, they took hold of themselves there, pain of a woman as in labor, as when an east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, which God establishes forever. And here we see that the psalmist will try to acknowledge the strength and power of the Lord over the other nations. Now, in verses 9 to 11, the psalmist will shift his focus to the temple within Jerusalem, which is seen as the place where God's presence dwells. And here we see that the psalmist encourages the people to walk around the city and to look upon its walls and fortifications to meditate on the city's beauty and the power and protection of God. And therefore, we see that the psalm ends with a call to all people to rejoice and give thanks to God for his goodness and faithfulness. The psalmist recognizes that God is worthy of all praise and worship and that he will always be a refuge and fortress for his people. And my dear friends, as we have reflected and meditated on this psalm, let us now thank the Lord. Let us close our eyes and let us thank the Lord and praise him and glorify him for all the wonders that he has done in our lives and for all that he continues to do. Loving Father, you have given us time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you to bless us and to protect us. Lord, we thank you, we praise you and glorify you for all that you have done for us. You have protected us and you have guarded us all through the night. You have given us this morning hour. And for this, Lord, we thank you, we praise you and we glorify you. You are merciful, O Lord, and you have blessed us in so many ways. And therefore, Lord, we ask you, that whatever we may do today, be with us, guide us and protect us, so that whatever we do, it may be in and through your name, so that we may be able to spread your love, joy and mercy to the world around us. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence and reflect on Psalm 48. Let us see what touched us. Let us reflect on a thought that would have come to our mind as we were meditating on this psalm. Let us allow that to take root in us so that the psalm becomes a part of us and therefore we may be able to put into practice this psalm in our lives.
Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen let us pray for the intentions of the holy father for the month of may for church movements and groups we pray that church movements and groups may rediscover their mission of evangelization each day placing their own charisms at the service of needs in the world our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the act of contrition o oh my god i am heartily sorry for having offended thee and i detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen pray to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen pray for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them 
with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God. I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, 
I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy Lord, have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us Christ, hear us, Christ, graciously hear us God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, 
pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen